The latest serving of Black Mirror Season 6 emerges after a prolonged hiatus, bearing a sense of festivity akin to Netflix's strategic acquisition of this science fiction anthology back in 2015, a four-year sabbatical since Season 5, and we're dealt a medley that merely manages a 40% hit rate regarding the indelibility of its episodes, inclining more towards horror than its roots, and lacking the quintessence that made the series a cult phenomenon. Let's shed light on the beacon in this murky sea. Joan is awful. The episode boasts an ingenious plot revolving around Annie Murphy's character Joan. A pedestrian HR employee, her life is an epitome of monotony until she stumbles upon an uncanny imitation of her existence being broadcast on the fictional streaming giant, Streamberry. While the narrative's conceit is praiseworthy, the execution leaves one yearning. Salma Hayek Pinot's depiction of Joan provides the episode some much-needed vigor. The episode comes closest to embodying the iconic unease the show historically casts upon technology's stranglehold over our lives. A distant second is beyond the sea, an 80-minute behemoth with undertones of 2001, a space odyssey, starring Aaron Paul and Josh Hartnett, as astronauts endowed with the power to project their consciousness back to Earth. The interstellar adventure takes a convoluted turn, making space the ultimate testing ground for human relationships. Beyond this, the quality takes a nosedive. Maisie Day features a tormented paparazzo portrayed by Zazie Beetz, embroiled in a tangled web of celebrity obsession. Locke Henry narrates the tale of young filmmakers Samuel Blenkin and Mihala Herald uncovering the murkiness of a Scottish hamlet. Demon 79 is the most bizarre. A silent sales assistant, Anjana Vasan, becomes an unexpected emissary for an infernal bureaucrat, Papa Esiedu, in averting Armageddon. Charlie Brooker, the maestro behind the scenes, continues to weave his penmanship, collaborating with Bisha K. Ali on Demon 79. Though episodes retain their capricious and challenging spirit, the season falls prey to ennui, bereft of the ingenious spark that gave Black Mirror its comparison to the legendary The Twilight Zone. This season takes a feeble jab at the contemporary societal concerns it previously so adeptly dissected, but is predominantly just eerie without being genuinely remarkable or captivating in the manner that we have come to anticipate from the series. Brooker's acumen engaging the zeitgeist of culture, politics, and technology remains intact, but the new season feels wearied, with intermittent flashes of brilliance insufficient to rocket it to the zenith of one's Netflix queue. In summary, season 6 of Black Mirror premieres on June 15th on Netflix, but it's a shadow of the groundbreaking television it once was. The season struggles to uphold the ingenuity and poignancy that previously characterized characterize the series.